Hey, so I get asked sometimes, why Finland? How did this whole thing get started? Why do you keep going? Um, and that's what I'm going to explain to you in this video. So this whole thing started back in about 2014 when I came up to visit my friends and my hockey teammate. Um, he invited me up here to spend some time at his house um, and show me the city. And then we went out here to the country we has a place and yeah, that was 2014. So I've been coming here ever since. So that's how this whole thing started. Uh, just a random trip visiting my friend, my teammate at the time. And I fell in love with it. You know, from the first time I visited, I fell in love with the idea of being in nature, being separated from all of the stress. You know, Dubai is a very hectic, fast paced place very stressful you know you have the traffic and the bills and the dating scene and everything going on in dubai is is a lot and you come out here and there's not much you know you just got to worry about your day-to-day -day tasks you know you're making the breakfast you're washing the dishes you're making the fire chopping the wood for the fire getting washed up like all of the daily tasks mundane tasks actually become quite a focus. I mean, today doing my laundry was an all day task. Um, and it's quite nice, you know, to focus on the physical labor of something rather than the mental or emotional burden that city life can put on you. I also feel like I'm able to reconnect with what it means to be human out here in nature. You know, it's, if I don't do something or if we don't do something, then it doesn't get done. I don't have the luxury or the comfort of ordering someone else to get me food. I don't have the luxury to, of ordering someone else to clean my place. I don't have the luxury of asking someone else to do what needs to be done. No, I have to do it myself. And that's what I think part of being a man is part of being a human is is just doing stuff yourself you know getting it done and you're able to reconnect with that part of you here when you're in the wild it's also beautiful it's also really beautiful here i mean we're talking right now it's like 10 p.m and skies are bright and the air is clean easy to breathe you know when you come from the city life and yeah, I feel like your lungs become very constricted and you've become tight and you're tight in your chest and you come out here into the nature and just naturally your chest opens up, you, you know, you breathe deeper and more naturally and you feel healthier out here. I mean, the water, you drink it from the top and the air is cleaner, the food is fresher, you know, you can go to the river and fish for fresh food. Uh, we grow all of our fruits here on the land. So everything is fresh, everything is natural, and yeah, I feel like we are becoming so far removed from what it is to be human that we're like reading articles. I saw something, it was like, we're reading articles to tell us whether or not fresh food and fruits and vegetables are good for us, but what the hell are we talking about? Of course they're good for us, and you come out here and you see what nature gives you, I mean... You could just pull over here and we have, you know, some berries growing off of the tree and I'm surrounded by them all over really. So food is in abundance here. Uh, we shouldn't be having starving countries. We shouldn't be fighting people over resources when the earth is full of them and there's plenty enough to go around. So yeah, I, I plan to, I plan to keep coming back. I plan to come back every year and as long as I'm welcome here and I hope to one day really get my own place obviously the one con <laughs> is the amount of bugs I am getting absolutely destroyed but again I'm out here in my underwear so kind of my fault um, I do look forward to bringing you more videos and taking a lot more videos on my trips I tend to disconnect I tend to leave my phone and everything inside while I'm working but I'm going to try to film more content 
and show you a glimpse of what it's like to live in nature and maybe, maybe, maybe convince some of you to try the same because I do believe that this would be better for everybody. I tell people all the time that my goal is to one day disappear, you know, to one day be in a place where I can just disappear into the woods, have my own place and be completely self-sustained. And whether or not you do it for the rest of your life, I hope at the very least you get a chance to experience it because it's worth it. And I do believe it will change your, a lot of your, um, I don't want to say perspective, but I do believe it puts things into perspective. Um, you know, a lot of the worries you have day to day can kind of disappear when you're out here. So I think that's helpful to, to remember. And uh, yeah, so once again, thank you for joining me and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.